Do y'all see this, man? Do y'all see this? Somebody give me an architect job right now. Sonny Daniel Enterprises. What it do, Daniel Dynasty? We in a new mansion, man. When the queen is asleep. <laughs> Look like he throwing. <laughs> the PlayStation shall be. Let's go, champ. I'm going to have two kids with two different girls. Her booty fake, but it still look good. Wait a minute. I think I just got electrocuted, bruh. Time for that chrono. Why would you call the police? What is he doing? <laughs> The energy he brings is so great. This is where the magic happens. Roll over. Damn. What did I see? Saw two BBCs. And that's a channel strike. I definitely see your channel growing a lot. Would you like a massage? I need a happy ending. <laughs> Your cows too, bitch. Sunny Daniel never broke again. Grab number five, number three. Woo! Come on now, dog. If you played the original, bro, it just hit different. She thick. Woo! That was amazing. All of those long, hard hours of working definitely pay off. That's for sure. I, I see that. <laughs> I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises. I've seen the BuzzFeed architect make a real house. I don't like BuzzFeed. I'm not trying to knock the real architect. All I'm saying is I'm not even an architect. And this house looked like a million dollar architect made it from scratch. I'm not even trying to brag. I'm just telling you, this is going to be a reality. All right, so first of all, let me let y'all know what happened. So I got two versions of my house that I'm going to build in real life. We got the big version, which is probably going to cost way too much money because I got too happy with the, the whole L shape and all that. So this design is going to be version B because version B is like, yo, if I could afford it, that's the one I'm going to make. This one is not complete yet. It's, it's, still, it's still empty in certain spots. It's still got some empty spaces. But this one, version A, let me tell you, this is very in reach right now. And the reason I say that is because I was able to get the square footage from like maybe like 8,000 square feet all the way down to like maybe 4,000, 4,200. You see right here, this is a 1,600 square foot house right here. Normal house, kind of like the house I'm in right now. This house is only about three times, two, two and a half, three times bigger than this house. And when you count the square footage, it really is about double. So I'm thinking this house is maybe 3,200, maybe 4,000 square feet. That's all beside the point. I'm going to show y'all a walkthrough of the house before we even show you the plan of the house. Now, my plan was to get Bella on here to, to walk through with me so she could tell me what was up with it. But she's busy. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get a hold of Bella because she she do a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to knock it because she do be doing a lot. Got her certification and all that just the other day. So it's a lot. But all I'm going to tell you is look at this. Look at this, man. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how gorgeous this house looks and the thing about this house is i don't think it's gonna cost that much to build and like no cap i'll be out there hard hat hammer nails like y'all already know man I'm, I'm all about the diy action i'm all about that do it yourself life i'll do it man but so let's just let's just take a look let's just take a look so first of all i don't really have that much grass i don't really care much about grass the grass will be in the backyard what I got is mostly paved off because I feel like that's more what I'm looking for. I got a basketball hoop over there, which is a whole vibe because, you know, got to get exercise, man. <laughs> you got to get exercise. I didn't realize how out of shape I was. I said that in the vlog till I hopped on the treadmill yesterday. And you can see the, uh, the other house across the street. So these are the two versions. So let's just get into it. As you notice here, we got the garage going around to the right side of the crib. Now, the reason I did this is definitely to save space. Just ignore the fact that it's up off the ground because in the Sims, you can't you can't really mess with the foundation on multiple parts of the house and then connect them together. At least I don't know how, because realistically, you'd have this on the ground level so the cars could drive into the garage and then have stairs going up inside the garage. But, you know, I can't do that. I ain't even going to take you all there yet. We're going to go through the front door, man. We're going to pretend that we just rolled up in that bins right there. We're going to go through the front door. The front door. Look at this, man. Come on now, y'all. Come on, man. This is what I need, man. When you pull up to my crib, you got to be greeted with, with amazingness. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be amazing. Look at this. This is amazing. Let's go into the crib. You come up the steps. You got the little water fountains on both sides. You come into the house. And what you greeted with? You greeted with, you greeted with excellence. You greeted with a white grand piano, a logo with a waterfall, two trees, nice little console table on the right. 
artwork which my artwork is definitely gonna get revamped in here don't pay much attention to the artwork because i gotta make more custom content because i am so tired of the same custom content that i've had i've had so maybe tonight i'll end up making some more custom content and then i'll drop it for y'all to download it because i know y'all like to download my custom content that i make also all my custom content so to the right you have the garage now i was thinking about making this all glass so you could see the cars all the time but i'm like i don't know if i want to see the cars all the time so right now it's just a glass door with a with one window pane of glass so you can still have the art and the console table right there got a nice little art piece right here a little sculpture got the fly honey because i mean come on now man you can't have a house like this and i have a fly honey walking around and i'm just saying i made her earlier just randomly i think i was eating something and i was just randomly just messing with stuff she came out amazing and she looks a lot like this girl from TikTok, man. The Hawaiian girl from TikTok. Y'all might know who I'm talking about. So she kind of came out like that. That has zero to do with this house, though. So you can go to the right and see the garage. And when you come over here to the garage, you notice it's really not that big of a garage. It looks big, but it's really not that big. It's just a simple three car garage. Uh, you got the one, two, they go to the main house and then three goes to the suite. The suite has been moved downstairs because I realized that basements aren't counted in square footage. I think I told y'all that before. And this house was getting so big that I'm trying to shrink down the foundation size. So the price will go down. So the, the suite is going to be downstairs. So that door is going to take you downstairs. Whoever lives in the suite can use that parking spot right in front of that door or it'll all be mine and these will all be my cars one or the other so you come back in the crib i love the chandelier just the whole vibe the art up top is terrible i gotta get some better art in here to really make this pop and look right but i like that this is open this is the only spot in this house that's open because i had to close off the living room area because it just i just didn't have the space man you know what i mean i just didn't have the space so you notice i moved the stairs over to the to the corner now this is all gonna be glass but this matter of fact you know what let me fix this hey make sure you subscribe and ring that bell <laughs> i moved the steps to the left man and i think this looks a whole lot more realistic i think this fits way more out the way you know the two big stairs i after i did this I definitely understand what she was talking about because those stairs was way too big. Those were double, dual double stairs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. That was way too much uh, stair action I had going in that other house. But I think this looks good. I think it looks realistic because it's just a, a little spiral up, just like uh, a lot of houses I've seen. I think Ace Family's joints look like that. Got the artwork in the hallway, which looks cool. This is a little hall closet. You know for your guests to hang up their coat nothing special it's actually a decent size i just fixed some of this because i expanded the kitchen i shrunk the kitchen and then i mean i shrunk the living room then expanded the kitchen too much then i had to despan the kitchen and expand the living room so i just finished that um so let's go let's go check that part out the whole living space so right now i used to have that door there so now this is just artwork you know what i'm saying we go over here we got the fish tank popping now we got the dining room table which looks amazing um, whatever this thing is it looks amazing you come over you still see you getting that vibe you see that vibe you still got it it's just not double ceilings which i mean i would have preferred it to be double ceilings high but at the same time the heating bill also it's a lot of wasted space on the top floor i think building cost wise that might cost more this actually ain't gonna cost that much i don't think so it's just one level mid ceilings like the, the middle level on the ceilings, which probably are like 10 foot ceiling, something like that. Nice living room, man. Got the YouTube play buttons because we're going to get three of them joints, man. Matter of fact, we're going to get four golds and three more silvers. That's what we're going to do by 2025. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The kitchen is beautiful, man. I just finished doing the kitchen just a second ago. Added a little fruits and stuff. I think the kitchen was a little bit too big before, so I shrunk it by one square in and then i added that square over there so you notice this this part where the living room is is actually a lot smaller than what the last thing i showed y'all was uh because i just it's just space you don't need man you know what i mean it's just space you're not really using so this is beautiful man i, I love the kitchen I, I think the kitchen is like a perfect size you got your pantry right here you can come over here and store your foods all that kind of stuff beautiful kitchen man you know what i'm saying beautiful kitchen you know, tell me why I realized, I want to know, post in the comments, what is the same about her and her? Because to me, they look damn near the same, right? And I was just wondering, I'm always attracted to girls that look like that. 
but what is it that i'm attracted to is it the eyes nose lips i don't know it, it messed me up because i was scrolling through the channels and i'm like yo why does daniela look just like ariana and it wasn't even this it was a different channel but I, that's beside the point i'm just saying what's the what's similar between ariana right there and daniela perkins i want to know post in the comments because i can't see what's the difference between the two something about them makes me uh attracted to them there's a girl on tiktok look like that too it's something about the eyes i don't know what it is though maybe the hood action i don't know so the living room dining room kitchen area man is just it's flawless man i love this area i could definitely see myself down here just entertaining eating cooking thanksgiving Fortnite, video games you know what i'm saying anything this is the spot chief this is definitely the spot and it's really not that big i'm telling you i really downsized this house the biggest wasted space probably is this hallway i'm not gonna lie to you this hallway is definitely a big waste of space you could fit somebody's hole upstairs right here but i mean you're getting the, the sunlight i realized that i want my house to face i want this side of the house to face west and then the other side to face east which would of course mean that but i want this side to face west so this side of the house gets all that afternoon sun i think that'll look amazing coming through all these windows so now i'm gonna take y'all upstairs to the part that y'all haven't seen anything of this is all gonna be new for y'all and it's gonna be great man i'm gonna show you the bathroom too real quick this is the little main bathroom so right here we got a toilet to the right little toilet room you know that you know the vibes and then to the left i think i put laundry in here yeah this is laundry um i don't know why i got this door going over here i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep that like that but this is laundry a toilet this is the main bathroom that everybody can come in you know main floor i wasn't gonna put a shower in here but i did so you know ignore these log chairs too they just fit so perfectly i wish they were stone but you know it is what it is but i like this little bathroom though it's simple it is that's the bathrooms are definitely up for if the architect want to change something because i don't know nothing really about bathrooms i like that but i think this looks good i realize i don't know much about decorating bedroom areas either i'm good with living rooms dining rooms entertainment areas so basically you come up the steps now you upstairs nice little area up here man you know what i'm saying it's got a little it's got a little homey vibe it's pretty small but that's good because that means I'm utilizing all my space. So to the first room to the left, we got a bedroom. Nice size bedroom, man. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely a nice size bedroom. You could definitely do something with this. Don't really pay much attention to the decorations. These are just kind of placeholders to give me an idea when I was uh, setting up the house. I actually did put some closet space in here. So it's a nice little closet area. Look how detailed that is. Go out of that room and we got to the left you see this the little little walk area where you you can look down see what's going on which is definitely fly then to the left right here is the hall bathroom now this bathroom i set up all the bathrooms exactly the same so here we got a toilet there i think i'm gonna put another toilet there because this is the main bathroom this is the bathroom for the two bedrooms that i have that don't have a bathroom off the bedroom so you got a nice walk-in shower of course this is probably overkill so if this could be smaller that's even better <laughs> to somebody that's actually designing it for construction and then to the right here we got another bedroom we got another bedroom over here this is another this is actually a pretty big bedroom this is bigger than the first one i showed you big shout out to the ace family even though i'm a designer house this this is better than y'all's bro i'm just saying big shout out to the ace family though you understand know so this room actually has a really big closet and this wasn't gonna be a closet at first but it is right now i don't know if this is gonna stay a closet but i wanted to put closet space in this house so i wanted to get an idea of how how big it would actually need to be and in this room right here you can guess it's definitely the master suite you know what i mean you come in here you got the you got the double bed you got the big tv you even got a mini fridge because i realized like these big ass houses need some kind of refrigerator upstairs because like what if you want water like you gotta walk all the way downstairs to get some water nah man put a mini fridge upstairs so we got the mini fridge up here man you know what I'm saying kick back you can watch some martin you got the artwork on the wall even though the artwork is weak man i'm not gonna lie i gotta make some custom some custom content definitely coming soon so the master suite actually has a master bathroom boom going to the master bathroom you got the double sinks his and hers you got the toilet room even though we don't have double toilet rooms we do have a window shower is way bigger shower is probably overkill like this shower is bigger than every bathroom in my house combined 
but you know it is what it is you know some things can be can can be toned back or they can stay big if it, if it ain't that big of a cost so that's that and then through this room is actually the the walk-in closet the walk-in closet is official it's not a not a big space it's definitely very well utilized plenty of space to put stuff you know what i'm saying you got your mirrors and stuff it's nice mostly off the master bathroom off the master bedroom so now i'm gonna take y'all down the hallway to this room right here now this is actually one of my favorite parts of this house that i didn't even expect it to be was the outdoor patio now look at this man tell me this area ain't a whole vibe i mean i was just designing this while i was listening to somebody on youtube i forgot and I'm just designing this, man. I'm like, yo, this is really looking official. So then I come into tab mode. I'm like, yo, this is probably my favorite part of this house. It's like a whole little cabana in here. And it's super private. So you could get in a hot tub, treadmill. I mean, of course, you know, the hot tub would come whenever you want to make that purchase. But uh, yo, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely an option. As long as this could hold a hot tub, which I don't know, maybe it could, maybe it could, maybe it couldn't. Even if it couldn't, though, this is still a fly area. You could put gym equipment up here. You could work out up here. So this is actually one of my favorite spots of this house. It wasn't even going to be enclosed. At first, I was just going to make this part of the roof, and that was the end of it. And I was like, yo, let me, let me go ahead and attach the roof to this part of the house. And it looked amazing. And you can see I got a window right here. I'm actually gonna go back and change a lot of the windows with these windows, cause I feel like these windows are way more realistic. So that's pretty much been the whole house tour, man. You know what I'm saying? I give y'all a nice zoom out view. And you can see it's really not that big. I'm telling you, like this is a 1600, 1700 square foot house. This is not that big of a house. And I mean, look at this house. It's definitely bigger than this house, but I mean, not by much most of it is in the designing of it so that's why i'm so curious like how much is this gonna really cost me because if i could save money and then i'm doing a lot of it myself too come on man <laughs> i'm about to be building houses for a living but i'll give y'all a look at the layout so as you can see here the layout is very simple man we just got the three car garage oh, i didn't show you the basement but i'm not finished with the basement yet I do want to make a safe room down here though, like somewhere where you can really like tornadoes, theft, break in, nuclear, maybe not nuclear, but pretty much safe from all exterior threats, at least for a day or two. I want to make a safe room down here. And I also am going to put a movie theater down here because I feel like they don't really cost that much to make. They just, it's like a big draw, but it's not that much to make a movie theater in real life. As you can see the layout, man. So I got the garage right here, got the foyer. You know what I'm saying? The grand piano, which I priced these and I was unbelievable. It was unbelievable how much these grand pianos cost. They cost like 300 some thousand dollars, man. So I'm gonna get a baby grand piano, maybe a piano that has no strings at all and put a speaker inside of it. But the grand piano is a whole vibe. I'm not gonna lie to you, even the baby grand. So you got the foyer, this waterfall would have to be custom too, but I, I think I could build this. I really do think I could build this waterfall. I watch a lot of DIY stuff. I think I could build that. Um, the trees, all that kind of stuff. But you see here, it's pretty simple, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not that not that crazy as far as the design of it. And then we go up to the upstairs. And this was actually the most difficult part for me. I didn't realize how weak I was when it comes to laying out bedrooms. Like, that is definitely my weak point, building a house. Because I don't spend any time really doing that. And it's like, man, bedrooms are kind of important too because you don't want to have your master bedroom too close to the other rooms because if you smash in and you got kids, you don't want your kids all up on you. So it's hard to lay this stuff out. I think I did a pretty good job, to be honest. I think this bathroom could be a little smaller. I think some things could be a little smaller up here to maybe add another bedroom possibly. Uh, maybe. I don't know yet. And I was gonna leave this open and make this a recording spot for YouTube, but I'm like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'll leave this set with bedrooms and don't do all that open stuff because I feel like for resale, it's better to have a three bedroom house and a two bedroom house. So, you know, maybe I could just record in one of these bedrooms or hook up the recording situation down here in the living room. But that's the beauty of The Sims because we are gonna actually do a series in this house and anything that I don't like over the course of playing it, we are gonna change it. And then <laughs> when we when we've played through it and I'm like, yo, this is the house, chief. 
I love this house. That's when we gonna actually make it a reality. I don't know. She gonna be. She gonna be in the. She gonna be in the series. Cause she too fine not to be in the series. And then I don't know. I wanna go live, and do like live streaming decorating, but I don't have enough subscribers on my new channel yet. So I gotta hit a thousand subscribers, and I gotta hit four thousand hours watched. And I think I'm halfway on subscribers and like a quarter of the way on watch time. So if y'all watching this on the old channel, I posted it way earlier on the new channels. But if I do post this on the old channel, make sure y'all go to the new channels, man, and watch all my old videos because it'll help my watch time. So then we can start doing more live streams over there. Cause I don't want to live stream on my old channel. I want to bring new people to the new channel. And if you're on the new channel, man, make sure you go back and binge watch some stuff, man. Just throw it on, go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Throw on that Animal Crossing, go to sleep to it. Throw on that Fortnite, throw on that Sim series. Just go to sleep. Leave that joint running. Make sure you on autoplay. <laughs> I mean, music artists do it all the time. So I need y'all to help me out. Plus, it's hella chill content. So I'm going to make this basement a suite. I'm also going to make a movie theater down here and a safe room. So it's gonna be a movie theater, a safe room, and then the suite that I made upstairs, I'm gonna bring down here and make it real homey down here for uh, a tenant, whether that be family, friends, or an editor. Matter of fact, let me look outside, that's the one spot. So if you didn't see outside, we have a basketball court right here. Got a little half basketball court right here, man, because I just it just fits a vibe, you know what I'm saying? It just fit a vibe, and I love it. And I think having this all paved off, it's not that expensive and it's not that difficult to manage. I mean, I don't know, but I'm assuming that it's not that difficult. The only part you really gonna have to cut is this front part. And then, you know, ideally, of course, when I look in land, the thing about land is y'all, for real, for real, like I'm telling y'all as an OG, y'all probably should buy some land. And I'm saying this because land really ain't that much money and even if you sit on it like it's not going nowhere it doesn't go bad the only time land go bad if it's like a nuclear explosion it's like chernobyl or something other than that land never goes bad and even then that land is not bad it's just gonna take 100 200 years to clear up by land man but what i was about to say is a lot of times when you look at land these lots are really really big of course you got to get rid of the trees and all that is the part of the cost of building i'm thinking a lot from here all the way to here you know could run you about 50 40 65,000 maybe even less than that to be honest because I think the lot I was looking at it went back probably further than this and it was wider and it was all it was in a nice neighborhood too it was 65,000 so basically what I'm saying is this lot is smaller than what the lot actually would be because in real life you probably would get all of this land around this house that you can landscape and all of that but i want my house to be fenced in and i want the front and the side to be paved off so you get that i don't know it's like a very rich vibe pull in and everything is paved off like that Hey, your christmas trees and stuff out there it's just a vibe uh and then at night let me see this joint at night I even went and put the security cameras out here, y'all. <laughs> I'm I'm committed to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to I'm about to bring this to reality. Y'all think I'm playing? I am not playing. This is my house is gonna look just like this. Like I'm gonna take this to an to the architect. I'm gonna take this to her, and I'm gonna be like, yo, let's do this. Tell me everything that I need to fix. Let's do this. Cause I mean, look at this, man. I mean, this house is not that big either. It looked like a million dollar house, but it's not that big. I know if I help build this house and get the right deals, I can make this happen in like two years, no cap. So, you know, you notice I got the security cameras and everything around the house, but I wanted to show you right here. Now, also realistically, you might probably have a little bit more room to pull into the car. I mean, to pull into the garage. That's why I line these up like that. Cause I was just seeing if you actually could pull in, which right now you could, but it's a little tight. It's definitely a little tight, but I think it looks official, man. What I was going to show you is you go up here and this is just a chill spot. Like you would even mount a TV above that, that door. And I mean, it's barely going to get any weather because it's so enclosed. So I don't know, man, I'm loving this. 
<laughs> I'm definitely loving this whole house. I want to know what y'all think in the comments, man. Let me know in the comments. Is there anything you would change in this house? And is there anything that you would add to the house? Cause y'all know me. I had to I had to <laughs> I had to think like, yo, did I get a bathroom? Yo, you know how I build a house and be like, yo, I didn't even put a bathroom in here. I didn't even put a kitchen in here. But I think I pretty much got everything that I possibly need and some. And and you know, you don't have the tallest ceilings in the world. You just got the foyer spot. Uh, and I got to get some better artwork because I think that'll make a world of difference. You know, to be honest, let me see something real quick. See if this looks better with no artwork on the wall. Sometimes that's the case. No, nah, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say it looks better with no artwork, but it definitely it definitely needs some new artwork in here. Maybe I change the carpet. I definitely am going to change the windows because you notice how realistic this is when he actually had the shades in the window. Like that's that's a whole vibe. So I'm definitely going to be doing that, making it just feel more realistic. Um, and then I'm going to take y'all over to the bigger house real quick because the bigger house is not done at all. And this house I'm going to work off, work on off camera. And then the next video, I got to get Bella, the architect. I got to get her in here to do a walkthrough. I think that would be a dope ass video. Uh, so she got to stop playing and get in here and do the video. She built this whole building, man. And it's crazy how like this is fun, but like real architects, it's not this fun, yo. <laughs> like, like this stuff looks like, let me see if I can show you. I mean, it's just like, I actually took an architect class in uh, high school. It wasn't really architect. It was some, and it was like CAD, AutoCAD or something like that. Oh, it ain't even going to play. All right. Well, never mind, y'all. I was going to show you, but. This house though, man, you notice this house though, like for real, for real, it's basically the exact same house. It's just way bigger, which is almost unnecessary. And like, look at this, look how much bigger this kitchen is, but like for no reason, look how much bigger the living room, dining room is for like no reason though. I mean, it's nice, but like, it's not necessary. And that's why I love the house across the street so much because it's like, it's basically the same thing. It's just shrunk down some. And then without having this whole suite uh, on top of the house on the first floor, it's going to be on the basement. And I think that's going to save a lot of money. It's going to save a lot of foundation costs. Um, and then the garage being attached. Now, y'all know I'd rather have the garage on the L shape because that just gives you the vibe. Plus, I would definitely park my car crooked in the Christmas time and it had a lights reflecting off of it. You get like a, a Benz or Audi or something like shiny <laughs> you know what I'm saying and new man it's just a whole vibe like that you got the snow but you know and then I took this idea from the other house with the whole little garden area because y'all know this wasn't even like that before but look at the bedroom area man now this house is this much bigger and this is how ridiculous this looks so I got this bedroom all of that that's nice these two bedrooms this was gonna be a bathroom and then I got all this area for YouTube which it would be cool to have this. And if the cost difference between this house and this house is only like $20,000 or $30,000, of course I get this one built, but I would definitely reutilize some of this space uh, because this is just unnecessary space. I mean, you know, I want to do unboxing videos and stuff, but do you really need this much space to do it? You know what I'm saying? You want to do YouTube stuff, but do you really need this much space? I mean, the studio is definitely a spot that I like to have in the house, but I, mean, I could take one of them bedrooms. I mean, as long as I don't have two kids <laughs> or, or, you know, more than a boy and a girl uh, that needs three bedrooms or two bedrooms, I could use one of them bedrooms for YouTube or unboxings or whatever. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments though, y'all. I love y'all. And let me know, man, did I kill it or what? Cause I think I killed it. Peace. I never need a bitch, I'm what a bitch needs.